Uh-oh. Clearly, I have pissed off the wrong people. Am I being waterboarded by the enemies of freedom? Is Ron from the last segment still trying to shock the smart Alec out of me? No, no. It's much worse than that. It's my birthday. And to understand why I'm celebrating in a torture chamber, we have to roll back a few hours. After my experience with the Chicago Fire Department, my aging muscles were in need of rejuvenation, and I was still chilled to my ancient bones. As luck would have it, there's a place in the Windy City dedicated to preserving an old and allegedly very effective form of physical therapy. And that's how I wound up at a traditional Russian bathhouse called the Chicago Sweat Lodge. Hi, welcome to the Sweat Lodge, Chicago Sweat Thank Lodge. You. Can I get you to sign in there? The keeper of this sweaty flame is a man called Bill Trotter, and it's his mission to provide the very best bathhouse experience this side of the Volga. And I'll get you a locker here. The first thing I notice is a sign that leaves no room for ambiguity. No BYO, no sex, no smoking, no guns. But hey, they got soup. All righty, come on in. All right. So after disrobing and observing yet another helpful sign, my first stop is the Russian dry sauna. So uh, is this your first time in a... In a Russian sauna like this? Let me think. Yes. Okay. Good luck. I didn't get a hat. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I better get you a hat. I like that hat. Yeah. Are they actually hats? Or is it a guy? What, there must be a What it is, it's a, it's, a, it's a wool hat. Okay, oh. it's called a shopka. All right, so what happens when you put this on? It's like when you put a hat on when you go outside to keep your head warm. This you can keep your head cool, and then when your head stays cooler, you you can you can stand here a lot longer. Where where, where are my manners? I'm Mike. What's your name? Andre. Andre. Radim. Radim. And you? Dimitri. Dimitri. Yeah. Igor. Yeah. Who's this? This is my Alex. sons. Igor and Alex. Uh, Sergey. My new friends are from places like Minsk, Kiev, and Leningrad, which I thought was Saint Petersburg, but. Whatever, they waste no time giving me a history lesson about the tradition of the Russian bathhouse. Here's a short version. The bathhouse, or banya, as the Russians call it, has been around for centuries. Authors like Pushkin, Tolstoy, and Dostoyevsky all mention it in their work. The banya also serves as a community center and a venue to exchange ideas. To this day, nearly every city and small town in Russia boasts a banya, and many private residences have one of their very own. In short, the Russians take sweat very seriously. So there, there's a big uh, Russian population, yeah. obviously, yeah. in Chicago. We knew there were some, you know, Russians that go to go to the, the banyas every Tuesday. They're here. It's a social. Event. It's their place. Yes. You, know. you sweat so, here, then you go eat, drink, relax, sweat, freeze, them. eat, drink, relax, yeah. sweat, freeze, drink, eat, relax, I and maybe it. sleep a little. If you're wondering just how hot it is in here, the answer is not enough. For my new comrades, it can always be hotter. He needs to warm up. No, he needs to warm up. <laughs> he's not you. <laughs> How many people that pass out on the course That's, of it? Oh, well, I had a heat stroke once. Did you? You did not have a told me, but you know, I, had, I knew what the heat stroke was. Mike, you're gonna see the sign at the exit. Yeah. We, I mean, we're glad you're alive. We surprise you. Alive. <laughs> <laughs> you're alive. My concern, of course, is that no one told my loyal crew to bring bathing attire for this shoot. And those cameras got to be pretty hot by now. Is it, Nick? Is it burning hot? About 185. 185 right now. Yeah. So what they'll do is they throw water on there. OK. And a little steam comes out, and it bumps the temperature up to 200, 210. Let's get it up to 200, 210, and see which of my cameramen collapses first. I think we have a, we have a new and exciting game. Nick was in bed all day yesterday with food poisoning, so normally my money would be on Nick all the way. because he's a, he's a monster, but now, I don't know, I think he's diminished. Outside. Guys, camera guys, you go down for a second. Okay, that's cold water. But here at the Chicago Sweat Lodge, my crew are sweating their pierogies off, and we're keeping the tradition of the Russian banya alive and well. Here we go. A little warm. <laughs> it's hot right now. <laughs> Jeans was a bad idea. So just a yeah, quick uh, stop down, slip into something yeah. a little more appropriate. Look at that, Taylor. That's like early American gladiator. <laughs> Nick, how are you feeling? Seriously, yesterday was bad for you. Yesterday was bad for me, but I feel a lot better today. At any point you feel like you're going to pass out, make sure there's a camera pointed at you. 
Ratings go. Now that everyone's overexposed, let's crank this Russian sauna up to 11. Mechanically, what's uh, what are we looking at here? How does oh, this all work? Okay, this is what the, the, this oven has is 5,000 pounds of rocks in it. Okay, and then what happens overnight? It's like these just gas burners, real simple, and the, the fire hits the rocks. Shuts off about 7 a.m. and then the, this heat lasts the rest of the day. Usually we'll put some water so to get more steam. To get put water, water in there. Yeah, yeah we'll throw water on it. Very yeah. small amount. What my Eastern European pal is anxious to show me is how a little water creates a lot of sweat. And if this sign wasn't clear enough about the importance of being cautious, this one is crystal clear. I actually love that sign. I'm a big fan of honesty and signs. All right, let's pump it up. Let's go. That's all right. Throw it back there. Right. So in back there, you may have more effect. Personally, I thought 185 was toasty, but my Soviet associates are never satisfied. Mike, right now you have to come back here. Feels good? Yeah, you can feel it. You can down here. All right, coming up. Oh, yeah. Of course, my compadres do everything they can to maximize the experience. Oh, I don't think that's helping. <laughs> I don't think that's helping at all. Uh, that's what it's for. It's just beginning. <laughs> All right, let's cool. Okay, Mike, let's go. And just as I found myself quietly cursing the heat, So what it is, it's really good for your circulation. Unless it kills you. While we're sitting there, getting all the heat, everything expands in your body. Yes, thank you. So what happens when you jump in there, it's such a difference, everything goes back. And by everything. Every <laughs> everything. Clearly more contraction than expansion. I'm now sent back into the sauna and told to lie face down for the signature skin treatment of the Russian banya, something called a venic. <laughs> I explain it to you as best you can. Okay. okay. What this does is it helps open your pores uh -huh. a little bit more. Uh -huh. They're oak leaves. They've been bound together, and it's it's just an old traditional, uh, you know, Russian Russian process. You know, we've been doing it for years. Andre, you must be getting tired. So after my skin has been opened up via the vigorous flogging, guess what the next step is. Now that I am good and contracted yet again, it's on to the next circle of hell. And as it turns out, all those circles are not Russian. I'm just gonna slip in the uh, Turkish bath for a quick scrub. Shouldn't be but a minute. If I'm not back, in five, <laughs> come get me. In the Turkish bath, I find myself in the hands of Sergei who's going to administer something called a salt scrub. Just relax. Just relax. All right. Ten minutes later, to my surprise, I am relaxing. And resolved to never again jump into that icy plunge pool. Buddies are hiding down the road, some clicks in the bushes. <sighs> Alright. Well, I'm gonna head to the golf pool for another hit. You wanna go? That sounds fantastic, That's Bill. Forgot my shoes. You ready for a massage? It depends. What does massage mean here? Oh, it's just a deep sleep massage. Oh, that sounds fun. I hope I get Tiffany or Charmaine. His name is Vessel, or Bill is what we call him. And um, he's a uh, uh, 
ex-weightlifter. Is he? Yeah, yeah that's he used great. To, he was actually in the uh, 1976 Olympics. Was he? Okay, and during the Olympics, he was lifting and he, he something happened and he slipped, he broke his arm, broke his leg all one time, the weight just collapsed on him. Oh. And that's how he became a, a therapist. So he's really good at what he does. If he can fix my shoulder, then I'm, I'm telling you, I'll be a lifetime If member. anybody can do it, he can. Mike, this is Bill. Okay, Bill. Yeah. Hello, nice Bill. to meet you. It's good to meet you. Play the face down. Yes, of course. Okay. So, uh, left shoulder. The problem is the left shoulder? Yeah, yeah. yeah this for the start for the pinch nerve, go the way that, this is the connection. You how, see? Can you, how can you know, Bill? How can okay. you be so sure? I have a lot of experience. Okay. Just relax him, please. Mm hmm. <laughs> I see how this is going to go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be amazed because he'll, he'll find a way to unlock it. You'll be brand new man. i be what? You'll be brand new man. I, brand new. Brand new man. Yeah. Will my arm still be attached? I spent most of my birthday in my birthday suit, enjoying the wonders of the Chicago Sweat Lodge. Ah! Ah! My current treatment ah! is a brutal pounding at the hands ah! of an ex-Soviet weightlifter. Oh. Oh. I'll give you whatever you want. This stuff is moving around all over the place. You're gonna reach inside my body, aren't you? Ah! I've been to lots of spas, and I like a good massage as much as the next guy, but this is different. Forget the aromatherapy candles. Forget the new age music playing softly in the background. Forget Charmaine or Tiffany with their soft hands and gentle touch. This is the kind of massage that makes you want to confess. But you know what? It kind of works. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's better. You sure? No, no, there's some, you know, Trauma, mm -hmm. but <laughs> you you remember me all your life. I'm never gonna forget you right now. <laughs> never. <sighs> all right, let's drink. Uh, vodka cranberry, vodka orange juice, vodka and tonic, vodka and jag, vodka and corona, vodka and fresh grapefruit juice. You guys want to do a shot of vodka? Yeah. You all want vodka? I'm drinking vodka. Yeah, sure. I think I get it. It's not so much a health thing as it is something the broskies from the Eastern Bloc have been doing for a long, long time. Thank you, Bill. It's about sweat and it's about vodka. But really, it's about community. And I, for one, am glad it's here. Do you guys have jobs? <laughs> well, thank you for what you did to me and all of you guys. That was very, very personal and I, I'll never forget it. To the homeland. Australia. And what part of town are we in? We're in uh, the Portage Park area. Portage Park. Portage Park. Oh, Portage Park. Portage Park. I thought you said the poorest part. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you find yourself down. in the poorest part of Chicago. <laughs> Come on by and say hey to the Russians. <laughs>